Hi, this is Kelly from Petsica. Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk, and this is going to be our final follow-up to the Boom Card Tricks for the Escape Room mini-series. So I told you in the last video it's going to take two more, but it's just going to take this video to learn the last two tricks, okay? But be sure to stay to the very end because I'm going to tell you about a bonus at the end for another feature you can learn how to do. All right, so we want to basically create a conditional link and we want to make a rounded navigation button. So when we hover over the image, it's going to be a rounded edge instead of that square edge. So what we need to do is basically link our doorknob, okay? So this is going to be for conditional linking. So you need to make sure you are in a Flow Magic deck, all right? So you go up to Details, hit Flow Magic. If you're having any problems with not having a link to button, it's because you don't have the Flow Magic set. So we're going to click on the image that we want to make our link. Okay, this is essentially our next button or our submit button, but we're just choosing to use a circle. Okay, so we're going to do link to, and then we want to make sure, let's see, uh, link to next card, and conditional link is ticked. Okay, and then link if wrong, we want it to go nowhere. We want it to stay on the page. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out and make sure everything is working. All right, so for our conditional link, when we put the incorrect key and we hit submit, it should pop it back. It does, okay? So this is our other incorrect key. And you'll notice here we don't have the red, we don't have the green. So both of our, um, our tricks right there, we've completed both of those. Now our third trick though, when I bring over this key, it doesn't matter which key I bring over, but when I bring over a key and I hit this button, when I hover over this button, see how there's a square there? Like, it's okay, but we really should have a rounded edge. It would look much nicer. So that's what we need to go and do right now. Okay, so let's go into the Boom Workstation. And it's loading. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scroll down. And we're on this page right here. So at this point, what we need to do is actually make another image to go on top of this. And we're going to pull out a caption pick for this. We're going to delete the image. We're going to delete the text. And then we're going to make sure we've clicked on this entire image and we are going to give it a gold border. Okay, so we're going to go to gold and we want to make the width 2 and then the radius we're going to make 100. Okay, so now we're actually going to um, layer this on top of our handle over here. So let's make sure this is not linked. Okay, I did that to um, basically give you guys an idea, <laughs> but we don't actually want that linked. So we're going to go to link to no link. All right, so that's how it should look. So now we can take this image, let's make it a perfect circle, and we're going to um, cover it. Okay, we're going to layer it on top. All right, so that looks just about right. Let's tab it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here we go. Now we need to link this item to the next card, hit conditional link, and then link no link okay now it's very important this last tip so we want to make it draggable okay so we're going to make it draggable and the reason we're doing that is because this needs to be draggable so remember a couple videos ago i was like i oh, will make it draggable and then don't make it draggable now we're going to make it draggable again so we're making it draggable and we have to make this draggable because if we didn't make it draggable then it would fall back behind and not work for us okay so sorry this is like not not the right size okay that looks good. Now let's go preview it. Okay, so when we hover over it, now it works. Okay, so basically now it has the, the round circle around it. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, all right, so in the next video, our bonus surprise that I didn't tell you guys about is I'm going to show you how to randomize the keys. So we're going to make them different sizes and we're going to make it so that the correct answer is not always in the same place, which would make it really fun for your escape room. So be sure to, um, I hope you're subscribed already, but be sure you're subscribed so that you're notified when I post that next video so you can learn how to do that in your boom card escape room. All right, guys. Bye.